Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, November 28, 2023, Tuesday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke Chapter 21, verses 5 through 11. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection As we reflect on today's Gospel, it's evident that Jesus is teaching us about the transient nature of earthly things and the importance of being spiritually prepared. The destruction of the temple, which was a symbol of religious and national identity for the Jews, serves as an important metaphor for the temporary nature of all earthly structures and institutions in our lives. Jesus is urging us to look beyond the physical and the temporal and to focus on the eternal. In the context of this message, a quote from St. Augustine that comes to mind is, Do not build a mansion in your mind while you are a pilgrim on earth. Augustine's words resonate deeply with Jesus' warnings against placing too much significance on the physical temple. St. Augustine reminds us of the foolishness of becoming overly attached to worldly constructs and achievements. Our journey here is temporary, and our true home lies beyond this world. And this passage also contains a warning about deception and the importance of discernment. Jesus cautions his followers not to be led astray by false prophets, and to be prepared for the trials that will come. This speaks to the need for spiritual vigilance and a deep grounding in our faith so that we are not swayed by every new doctrine that may come our way. Jesus' words about wars and natural disasters can be understood and acknowledged on the realities of suffering and turmoil in our world, and we can certainly identify with this and apply it to what's happening in the world around us today. But rather than a cause for despair, Jesus tells us that These challenges can be seen as opportunities for growth in faith and a reliance on God. It's a reminder that in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, our faith can provide a foundation of peace and hope. Today's Gospel calls us to a deeper understanding of our pilgrimage here on earth. It encourages us to focus on what is lasting and eternal, to cultivate discernment and resilience in the face of trials and to anchor our lives in a faith that transcends the temporary upheavals of our world. And so today, let's pray that we will align ourselves with God's will, which is a perspective that sees beyond the tragedies and trials of today, seeing the eternal over the transient, with faith 
over fear. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.